Hello, dear friends. Why do mystics cry so much? Because they long for their original lost glory and regret their fall into the material world. Many years ago, I saw a two-hour weightless film that had a profound impact on me and that I invite everyone to see because it is available on YouTube. Opinion piece. Koyanitskatsi, Hopi Prophecy, Unbalanced World, Odyssey of Noise and Junk, Connection with Nature, In Search of Regeneration, Avoiding a Catastrophic Future, The Fifth Hopi World Begins. Let's start. The term Koyanitskasi comes from the Hopi language and has become known in popular culture thanks to the 1982 experimental film by director Godfrey Reggio, titled Konajitkasi, Life Out of Balance. It also means lazy life, a life in turmoil, life disintegrating, or a state of life that calls for another way of life. In the film, the word Hopi is used to convey the idea of a world that is unbalanced and in a state of crisis. This is a documentary that shows images of great visual and emotional impact about the destructive effect of the modern world on the environment. The images are accompanied by music composed by the minimalist Philip Glass. The name of the film means life out of balance in the language of the Hopi, an ancient American tribe that lives in the southwestern US, in the region knows known as the Four Corners. The Hopi prophecy of Koyanitskasi marks the disintegration of the life of harmony and balance that we have experienced. In the Hopi tradition, it is believed that humankind has gone through and will go through various stages of balance and imbalance in its relationship with nature and the world. Some accounts of Hopi prophecy suggest that we are currently in a state of imbalance, where humans have lost respect for the land and living in harmony. Hopi prophecy warns of the negative consequences of this lack of balance, such as natural disasters and human conflict. However, it also contains a message of hope, urging humanity to rediscover its connection with nature and restore balance to avoid a catastrophic future. The Blue Kachina. The Hopi Indians claim that their ancestors were visited by beings from the stars who traveled on flying shields or thundering birds, and they mastered the art of cutting and transporting huge blocks of stone, as well as building tunnels and underground facilities. These savers were the Kachinas, which means wise, illustrious, and respected. The Blue Star Kachina is associated with a period of spiritual awakening and changes in human consciousness. According to prophecies, its appearance would indicate that we are in the end times and that humanity would have the opportunity to change its way of life and return to living in harmony with nature. The, rest, the Red Star Kachina, on the other hand, is considered a purifier that would bring drastic changes on Earth which could include natural disasters and transformations in society. It is believed that only those who return to the original teachings and live naturally will survive and build a new world. The Hopi called Luka China the star we know as Sirius, which is a triple star system. A soul tells us that something is changing at the level of wild consciousness. The blue frequency is part of this change. Sirius is Isis, that is, the return of the high frequency feminine and the rebirth of consciousness. We can find many mystical references to the color blue, just to name a few. Indigo children, blue galaxies, the blue chakra, the blue ray, and the ascension of the master, and many more things that will come out of blue like, like my beret. That time is not far away. It will come 
when the Blue Star Kachina makes its appearance. This time was foreshadowed by a song in the Wuxing ceremony of the Hopi. It was sung in 1914, just before the First World War, and against before the Second, describing the disunity, corruption and hatred in the hearts of human beings. The emergence of the Fifth World has already begun. It is being built by humble people from small nations, tribes and racial minorities. In quotes, you can read this on the earth itself. The plants formed in the previous wells are beginning to spread their sheets. The same kind of, sheet of seeds that are being planted in the sky as a star, and they are also being planted in our hearts. According to the prophecy of the Blue Star Kachina, the third world war would be studied by these people who first revealed divine wisdom in the old known world. Bunkers or shelters would be a fallacy according to them. In quotes, all materialistic people seek to build shelters. Those who have peace in their hearts are already in the great, in the great refuge of life. There is no refuge for evil. All those who are not who do not take part in the adding to divide the world, whether for any reason, race or religion, whether they are black, white, red or yellow, we are all one and we are all brothers. Legend fulfilled. In 1997, Hopi elders appeared with Dr. Robert Gost Wolf in Art Bell's program, Coast to Coast, who spoke of two million of radio listeners when they predicted the arrival of the blue Kachina star and the purifying red Kachina star would follow shortly after the twins of Comet Halebub that had passed. They say they said that we saw strange things happening in animals, such as frogs with six legs, rabbits with four ears, and hermaphrodite animals. They spoke of earth changes and firestorms and of the prophecies of the eight thunders and the pale prophet. The story of the blue Kachina is a very old story. They said that the Kachina would make its appearances, its appearance in the square during the night dance. This event would tell us that the end times are very close. Then the blue Kachina star would physically appear in the sky, which would mean that we are in the end times. In quotes, in the final days, we will look to the sky and witness the return of the two brothers who helped create this world. Pogan Hoya is the guardian of our North Pole, and his brother Palonga Hoya, Boya, Palonga Hoya is the guardian of the South Pole, they said. In the final days, the, star Kachi, the, the blue star Kachina will come to be with his, its nephews, and they would return to Earth to its natural rotation, which is counterclockwise. This fact is evidenced in many petroglyphs that speak of the zodiac, and within the Maya and Egyptian pyramids, the Earth's rotation has been manipulated by no so benevolent stellar beings. The twins will be seen in the northern western sky. Western sky. They will come and visit us to see who still remembers the original teachings, flying on their flying sh shields. They will bring many of your star family with them in the final days. The return of the blue Ka Kachina star will be the alarm clock that announces the new day and the new way of life, the new world that is coming. This is where the changes begin. With the appearance of the twins, a period of seven years begins which will be our final opportunity to change in our way of life. They will begin as fires that will burn within us, and we will burn with desires and conflict if we do not remember the original teachings and return to peaceful ways of life. Not far behind the twins will come the purifier, the red Kachina, who will bring the day of purification. On this day, the earth its creatures and all life as we know it will change forever. 
there will be messengers who will precede this coming of the purified. They will leave messages for those who remember the old ways. Messages will be found written in living stone through sacred grains such as crop circles and even in water. From the purifier, a big red light will come out. All things will change in their way of being. Every living thing will be offered the opportunity to change from the largest thing to the smallest. Those who return to the ways given to us in the original teachings and live a natural way of life will not be touched by the coming purifier. They will survive and build a new world. Only in the ancient teachings will the ability to understand the messages be found. These messages will be found on every living thing, even within our body on a drop of blood, because they are in the uh, genetic code. Craziness or DNA. Many will seem to have lost their soul in these final days. So intense will be the nature of the changes that those who are awake in spiritual awareness will go crazy, since we are nothing without the spirit. They will disappear as they are just hollow containers that anything can use. Life will be so bad in the cities that many will choose to leave this plane, some in entire groups. Only those who return to the values of the old ways will be able to find peace of mind because we must find relief from the madness that will be around us. It will be a hard time for women and ch with children because they will be avoided and many of the children this time will be unnatural. Some will be beings from the stars, others from past wells and others even created by human beings artificially and will and will be soulless. Many of the people at this time will be empty in spirit. They will have sampaku without any life force in their eyes. As we approach the time of the purifier's arrival, there will be those who walk like coasts through the cities, through the ravines they will have built into their man-made mountains. Those who walk through these places will be very heavy in their walk. It will seem almost painful to take each step, as they will be disconnected from their spirit and the earth. After the arrival of the twins, they will begin to disappear before your eyes like a lot of smoke. Others will have major deformities both in mind and body. There will be those who will walk in a body that is not of this reality as many of the portals that protected us will open, and there will be much confusion between the sexist children and their elders. Life will become very perverted, and there will be little social order in those times. Many will ask the mantis themselves to fall on top of them and put an end to their misery. Others will appear as if they are not touched by what is happening. They will be those who remember the original teachings and who have reconnected their hearts and spirit. They will be those who remember who their mother and father are and who have gone to live in the mountains and in the forest. When the purifier comes, we will see him first as a small red star, which will come very close and sit in our sky, watching us to see how well or how badly we remember the sacred teachings. Signs. The purifier will show us many miraculous signs in our sky. In this way, we will know that the Creator it is not a dream. Even those who do not feel their connection with spirit will see the face of the Creator across the sky. Things that are not seen will be felt very strongly. Many things will begin to happen that will not make any sense, as the reality will be changing and in and out of the dream state. Many thresholds will open to the underworld at this time. Things long forgotten will come to remind us again of our past creations. All living things will want to be present these days. When time ends and we enter the eternal cycle of the fifth world, 
we will receive many warnings, allowing us to change our way of life. Then one morning, in a moment, we will wake up to the red dawn. The sky will be the color of blood. Many things will then begin to happen, which at this time we are not sure of their exact nature, since much of reality will not be as it is now. As it is now. There will be many strange beasts upon the earth in those days, some from the past and some we have never seen before. The nature of humanity in those times will seem strange. We will walk between the wells and many spirits will inhabit our bodies. After a time, we will again walk with our brothers from the stars, and we will rebuild this earth, but not before the purify has left its mark on the universe. No living thing will remain untouched, here or in the heavens. The way through this time will have to be found in our hearts, reuniting with our spiritual beings, becoming simpler and returning to live with the earth and in harmony with its creatures. Remembering that we are caretakers, those in charge of the fire of the spirit, our relatives from the staff are begin returning home to see how well or how badly our day has gone. Reset News Mark Sida believes that entering that everything starts next Monday, and Luciano Pardo believes that it will start on Tuesday. Iraq was expected to reveal its new dinar exchange on rate on Saturday, October 7th, while level 4 could begin dating on Monday, October 9th. The Central Bank of Iraq and Reuters announced that Sunday, October 8th, would be a special day at all Iraqi banks, which could witness and president queues at the cash withdrawal window. Iraqis were told in the mosques that a new Iraq will begin on Sunday, October 8th. The EBS would occur before the end of 2023. According to Wolverine, Shelton said in his call that the 10 days of darkness and the 12 days of revelations would begin after a big event. Half of the more than a half million sealed accusations are directed to get against banks, traders, or their stock market officials. We are about to enter a world war. The answer is a setting, but the defensive postures taking place in international trade relations have the potential to restore the global economy, says Goldilocks. War causes inflation, rising interest rates, diversions of international trade, and destruction of property, capital, and human lives. Trading people's lives for money is never a good option, but interest rates drop at the end of the war to encourage economic growth. New realities are signed that carry economic benefits, and the new supply of money to pay for the war would help. To the creation of money for countries that have depended on the dollar. The possibility of gold and silver exceeding $1,000 per ounce are 100% according to Benjamin Fulford if a value of relationship of one-to-one -one is established. Snowden continues to help the white hats in the plan to save the world. Prepare for more tappalings in the housing market, says Buff A. It's an 80s-style housing recession. The BRICS Bank applies a three-year de-dollarization plan. BRICS countries discarded 17.4 billion in treasury bonds in one month. The price of uranium increases by 50% this year and is at its highest level in 12 years. The bond market crisis will get worse before it gets better. According to Goldilocks, on November 1, 2023, the Fed will update its payment system risk. This will be done by valuing the security collateral and at an estimate of fair market value. In other words, it will be passed on asset type, creating rating and more. This update with new supporting figures is expected to take into account the volatility and future prices that are expected to deflate due to an inflated market. Markets and the banking system are synchronized their credit spreads based on the trading system based on collateralized assets. Our markets are about to reach real values. These banking upgrades 
will be what support the new trading system based on digital assets. 45% of student loan borrowers expect to be delinquent when payments resume next month. Federal student loan payments will begin again this fall, and 45% of borrowers expect to default on their loans when the federal forbearance period ends in October. This high percentage is due to the skyrocketing cost of living, record inflation, rising housing costs in many cities, and credit card debt recently reaching at all, an all-time high. From October to September of next year, interest will accrue on loan payments, so many borrowers are already spending less on daily life. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.